What's good, everybody? It's your Uncle Sam's Reject here, and welcome back to the channel, boys. And we're back with another college flashback episode. Now, I haven't done one of these in a while, and I was thinking about bringing this series back pretty soon. And unfortunately, I wish I was doing it under better circumstances. The last time we did it was under the same circumstances, unfortunately, with Tavares Jackson, rest in peace. And tragically, as of yesterday, rest in peace to Demarius Thomas, boys. Demarius Thomas was a pretty exciting receiver in the NFL, but you know, it's pretty sad that he passed away. I mean, there's reports on there out there on how he passed away. I'm not gonna speak on that. I just wanna say condolences to his family, rest in peace. And I hope through time, you guys start to heal from this loss. And I really hope uh, everything is gonna be okay for you guys. Now, before we continue on this video, guys, I wanna have a moment of silence for Demarius. Rest in peace, DT. Now, if this is your guys' first time ever seeing one of our college flashback videos, boys, what we do is we take one of our favorite players, we flash them back to college, either we create them or we use them in one of the NCAAs that they actually had a player in. We play on some, we play on three to four minute quarters. We still play on Heisman and everything like that. But, you know, we force feed them the ball. We try to make them have a monster game. We go over some stats and we pay homage to their career, their life, and their legacy. Now, for Demarius Boys, he was a three year starter at Georgia Tech. His freshman year, he played 13 games, had 35 catches, 558 yards, four touchdowns. His sophomore year, he would play one less game. I'm assuming they weren't bowl eligible, but he would catch four more passes. He would catch for a little bit more yards at 627. He would score one less touchdown. But then in his junior year is when he really had that breakout season, which ultimately led him to leave early and get drafted in the NFL. 14 games, 46 catches, 1,154 yards, has 25 yards to catch with eight touchdowns. Now, with for Demarius Thomas, boys, he was kind of like the second coming to Megatron. Two really big, beastly receivers that played for a run first team, but still made their presence well known on the field. Now, during that pretty much breakout junior season, Demarius Thomas, this is his game logs. His biggest game of the season was against Mississippi State. He had eight catches for 174 yards and a touchdown, 22 yards a catch. He also had another big game. He also had a big game against my Miami Hurricanes. And then he had a pretty similar game to both of those against the Georgia Bulldogs as well for five catches, 127 yards and a touchdown. No multiple touchdown games, but still a, a great season for, like we said, a player that played for a run first offense. But what we like to do in this man, we, we come to their game log, we see what was the biggest game of their career and or of their biggest season. And that's the team we're going to go up against. So we got Georgia Tech versus Mississippi State today. But looking at Demarius Thomas here at NCAA Football 10, you see here wide receiver number eight from Georgia. Take a look at his appearance, 6'3", 229. Uniform kind of doesn't matter, but take a look at his player in the game. He came as an 88 overall. You know, 89 agility, 89 excel, 88 speed, 83 break tackle, big, big elusive dude at a 72, spin move 87, juke move 87, catchings at 86, spec catches at 85, catching traffic 87, route runners at 88, jumping of course with him being a physical specimen 92. And we're gonna try to come out here, throw some jump balls, have some fun, and see what he can do. We're in the heart of the Deep South, Starkville, Mississippi, and Davis Wade Stadium is the site for today's football game. We have partly cloudy skies and only a small chance of rain for today's game between the Mississippi State Bulldogs and the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Hi, everybody. This is Brad Nessler. And with me, as always, Kirk Herbstreet and the coach, Lee Corso. And Aaron Andrews joins us on the sidelines. EA Sports welcomes you to what should be another great game of NCAA football. All right, boys. So another thing about this series, for those of you guys who have never seen it, we only play the side of the ball that the that the, high, the highlighted player is on, and we only pass them the ball. We only run the ball with them, and we only, you know, we only do things with them. We do not try to get a bunch of other people involved. So here's a halfback pass. We're going to go to Demarius, and it is nearly picked off. All right, but he's off to a slow start. Here we are in the second quarter. No catches for Demarius. He does have three targets, of course. Only person we're throwing the ball to, and this time he gets his first catch of the game over the middle. I said, boys, we try to get we try to get monstrous games out here. We've done Randy Moss already. I think we've done a couple other receivers, and they absolutely went went crazy. Boom, no blocking there, but Demarius Thomas with the catch, beating the corner one on one. Let's get it. Now we're in a groove. We don't have the best quarterback. We don't have the best offensive scheme, but we do have DT Demarius Thomas. Man, he's made some crazy catches in his college career. 
He's got the corner beat. Can he truck the safety? No need. He's in the end zone untouched, and DT gets his first touchdown of the day. First of many, hopefully, boys. Let's get it. All right, boys. Another thing in this game, we do try to win these games. You know what I mean? That, that's an added plus. But the more important thing is the stats. Like I said, we're only on three-minute quarters, which goes a lot quicker on NCAA 10 than it does on NCAA 14 when we do these. And that ball is forced into Demarius Thomas, and he makes a tough catch. Now, what I want to see out of Demarius Thomas, I want to see him go up and, and make a make a big-time grab over somebody's head. He's got a chance to go over top. Oh, no, he's got him beat. Easy work. Number eight down the scenes, baby. Let's get it, man. All right, boys, first and ten. Here we go. Nesbitt sending the man in motion. He's back to pass. He's got DT over the middle. How did they lose him? Trucks his way in the end zone. Just like that. Two tubs on the game, baby. Number eight is starting to get to it, man. Let's get it. Yeah, boys, these videos aren't meant to be super long or super anything like that. They're solely for the fun and, ha and you know, seeing what the, what, the, what the player can do. DT, oh, my goodness. He almost came down with that. What a hit from Johnson, though. But, yeah, boys, I've always found it pretty dope how players like Dem Demarius Thomas and players like, uh, you know, Megatron were able to do the things that they did on a pass for, uh, you know, a run first offense. Always super duper impressive. Remember, we got to throw the ball to, D to DT no matter what. And he makes a really, really tough catch, baby. Let's get it, man. Look at this day so far. Seven catches, 155 yards, two touchdowns. Remember, he did kill them in real life. You know what I mean? So this is actually pretty cool. We're going to go ahead and run a fade here. No, I called timeout. Wow, we didn't have timeouts when I thought we did, boys. All right, boys. So unfortunately, <laughs> we ran out of time at the end of the, at the end of the quarter. You know, what I mean, I wanted to throw a, I wanted to throw a fade route to Demarius, you know, in the red zone to see if he can come down with it. He's being double teamed. Let's see what he can do. Oh, let's go! What a catch, DT Demarius Thomas is kid. This man was a beast in college, man. Rest in peace, dog. Oh, my goodness. And, yes, we are on Heisman. So I said I wanted a chance for, for an end zone fade. Let's see if we can possibly get it here a little far. You know what I mean? But we're going to throw it up anyway. One-on-one. -on -one. Oh, no, it's three-on-one. -on -one. And ooh, we almost came down with it. All right, boys, here we go. Second and ten. That's been back to pass. He has a tight window for DT, and okay. Now this is our this is our chance to get that lob one on one. All right, boys, it's the opportunity for DT to be great. We know he can do it. We know he's capable. Oh, corner the end zone, perfect. Ah, I think this time we might have gotten a little too close, but in YOLO, you know what I mean? Oh no! Hey, good good D over there by the corner. DT never even got a chance to really find the ball. Damn, we missed our opportunity. So I'm not going to like come up short in the in the red zone on purpose to try to get a to try to get a fade route. But you know what I mean? We definitely missed our opportunity. All right, boys, let's see what the safety does. It kind of doesn't matter. Oh, he bails. The safety bails. Nesbit has a shot. DT one on one. Oh, he almost catches it off the tip. That would have been an insane highlight. All right, guys, here we go. Third and nineteen. You know, got time to take a shot here. Nesbitt is hit while he throws in. It's picked off. Ah, see that? This is a casualty of war, you know what I mean? When you're when you're when you're when you're trying to force the ball to one guy the whole entire game. All right, boys. Mississippi State goes down and ties it up. Let's see what Demarius can do, you know what I mean, with the yak. Boom. Hit him. Juke one. Ah. Now we all know the one, the one to play Demarius Thomas is synonymous with. You know what I mean? What is it? The mile high, the mile high miracle or something like that. When Tim Tebow threw him that slant on the first play of overtime, he took it to the crib. I want to try to recreate that here with, you know, with a slant and see if we, and see if we can get him to, uh, to run a long ways with it. He's got his man beat, but they got safety help. He gets lit up, but guess what? That ain't nothing, boy. Let's go. All right, boys, you know what time it is. Get them fours up, baby. 14 all. Can DT propel us to victory? All right, boys, here we go. Man in motion, first play of the fourth. DT one on one. There's the out route. Ooh. They, they ended up doubling our boy, man. They ended up doubling our guy. All right, boys, defense came up to stop grand opportunity here. Like I said, man, we're playing on Heisman, so that doesn't make things easy. You know what I mean? But we got a beast. Oh, he's got him beat. Looks like it's pass interference on the play. Give us our 15, baby. They, hey, they already know they can't hold him. Big, big, pay, big P.I. there. We got to get the ball to D.T. He's open over the middle. Can he make people miss? He can't. Oh, my goodness. Look at the. Eh, eh, look at the spin. Now, you're probably wondering why we're not kicking a field goal or going for three here, but this isn't a kicker's uh, college flashback. This is Demarius Thomas's college flashback, and we're going to let Demarius Thomas get a chance to work here, man. That's that's just how. That's just the, the, 
the facts of the case. Got to throw it up, and yeah, it's picked. I mean, they keep the one thing about the AI in these older games, man, they will key in on, on the type of game you're calling and who you're trying to get the ball to. All right, boys, so the defense holds them to three. It's set up beautifully. DT is your player of the game. 12 catches, 256 yards, two touchdowns. I mean, we know what we got to do to try to win this, John. Oh, he's got to step on two. Can he go up and make a play? He does. Let's go, baby. Let's use a timeout as well, man. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's get it. All right, boys. Here's a beautiful chance for Demarius Thomas. This could be the biggest play of the game. And he did it. It's not the, it's not the jump ball fade we wanted, but it's a dot, and it's a tough catch. DT wins potentially wins us the game, baby. Let's go, man. All right, boys, Georgia Tech gets it done. Demarius Thomas has another big day versus the Mississippi State Bulldogs, and he gets another win. Kind of recreating what he did the first time IRL, man. This has been fun. It's been dope. It's been great to see DT come out here and pretty much dominate his competition, man. What a player. What an athlete. What a receiver. What a talent we had the pleasure of watching, you know what I mean, throughout his life and his career. Once again, rest in peace to him condolences to his family and i hope with time it can help heal those wounds that you guys you know the void that you're missing with your with your loved one but real quick before we got out of here let's take a look at the last time of his stats 14 for 318 three touchdowns and the game winner demarius thomas college flashback was a success if you guys enjoyed this one man and you want to see more stop and smash that like button hit me up in the comment section below subscribe if you're new it's your boy uncle sam's reject rkgames.com i'm out of here Peace. Oh. Hey. Yes, 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 yes. Niggas want me to lose, but I can't. I've been stacking this shit to the ceiling. Know some niggas with bodies and it ain't no probably. We never speak on them killers. Everybody on my block gon' get them some money. It's only a couple of drillers. I've been fucking them hoes, man. Them bitches ain't nobody.